Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing? Can I get a thumbs up if you're doing good? Or a thumbs down if you're doing bad? Jenny, are you doing good? Thumbs up from Jenny. Bruce, are you? Two thumbs up, good. Lucy, thumbs up if you're good. Wow, uh, double thumbs up. Big thumbs up for you and Thomas. Oh, thumbs up for Thomas. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a quiz. So, please, please go to this website on your device. Turn on your VPNs because you're going to need them. If you do not have your VPN in the quiz, you can put up your fingers, one, two, three, four, for the answers. Are you? What's your password for your house test box? IDRS944. Okay. Oh, what's he doing? Are you in? Yeah. Okay. Activity number one. You're going to match the country's flag to the country's name. So Jenny, Jenny and Lucy can work. Give you a couple of seconds. Yes. Yeah, okay. You're in. So the You're in. Rusi, you can work with Jenny. Mm. Thomas, you can work with Chris. Chris? Mm -hmm. Lisa, with, and you two can work with Jenny. Okay. Let's begin. 
question that goes on. What do you know about the causes of World War II? Do you know a lot, a bit, not so much, or nothing? This is just to let me know where you are. Okay, so don't put a lot if you don't know a lot. How many is a lot? Could you come up here and talk for five minutes about the causes of World War II? I would say that was a lot. Chris, you're right in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. So today, we're going to look at these two questions. Question one, how did the Treaty of Versailles help start the Second World War? And what role did dictatorships play in starting the Second World War? Okay. Don't understand? My wife translated it for you guys into Chinese. She's a nice lady. class, you should be able to explain how the Treaty of Versailles and dictators in Europe brought about the start of the Second World War. The Treaty of Versailles, 1919. World War I officially came to an end with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles on June 28, 1919. 32 countries had come together in Paris in January 1919 to hold a conference which would make peace after the First World War. It would be dominated by the Big Three, David Lloyd George representing Britain, George Clemenceau representing France, and Woodrow Wilson, representing the USA, Germany, was not invited. The big three. Okay, on your computers, there is a question. Who were the big three? You can answer more than one. Okay, there are three answers. <laughs> going to talk about dictators. So here are four countries' flags. Does anybody know which country that is? Germany. Germany, good. Soviet Union. This one? No. Spain. 
Spain. Very good. You remember that one? Bruce? Not really. Good. And Jenny? Good job. Good job. But if you don't know, you don't know. That's good. But you did know, and that was good. Good for you. You know who this guy is? This is Adolf Hitler, dictator of Germany. He helped rebuild Germany after the Great Depression. And he was friends with Japan and Italy. This is Mussolini, dictator of Italy. One of the things that he did was make the trains run on time. You think this is funny, but in Italy, the trains never, never, never go on time. So that he did this was amazing for his country. And he was friends with Japan and Germany. Okay. I have two readings. Good. I'm going to divide you into two teams. I have. English readings and Chinese readings, if you need them. They are here for you. And we have questions for you guys to answer. Okay? So the groups for today will be Chris, Thomas, and Jenny. You guys can have these for two pages. So give two pages to Chris, two pages to Jenny, and two pages to Thomas. Brucey. Bruce and Mandy, you get the shorter read. So one page for you, one page for you, and one page for you. Thank you. There you go. paper copies as well. In your groups, I want you to answer these questions. <laughs> you can't be the Greek, maybe the United Kingdom, uh, the, the, uh, the English, English is the same as Johan Niu. When the war was over, it was used to use Johan Niu to describe the English people. It was the same as Johan Niu. It was the same as Johan Niu. And Italy, what is the same as Italy? I forgot. And the French is the same as Johan Niu. It was the same as Johan Niu. 然后这边还有日本呢、啊。
Thank you very much. 